It's that time of year again, Halloween, and we all like tricks and treats. And today I am going to show you how to make jello shots using Fireball Whiskey. I've had some requests for this, and so here it is. Super simple. You're going to love it. You're going to need to do this for your next party. All right, in my pan, I have one cup of boiling water. And to that, I'm gonna add one box. It's a small box, three ounce box of Jello. Now this is orange Jello. We're gonna put that into our one cup of boiling water. And we're going to mix that up until it is dissolved. Hence the boiling water. Super simple, only takes just a few seconds to get that all dissolved. We all know Fireball is one of the most popular shots right now. So here we are. Orange jello. I'm going to take that off the heat. Now to this, I'm going to add one cup of apple juice. Now this is cold apple juice. I prefer the natural apple juice, so it is a little thick at the bottom. So I'm going to shake that up and going to just add one cup. Now this is cold, so it's going to help cool down that super hot jello mixture. So we have orange, we have apple, and that cools that down sufficiently. It's just sort of warm at this point. So, because what we don't want to do is burn off our alcohol, which sort of negate the reason for having jello shots. All right, now apple, orange, and to that, cinnamon whiskey. This is really, really delicious, you guys. So one cup of whiskey. How much easier can it get? One cup of water, one box of Jello, one cup of apple juice, one cup of whiskey. There you go. This is our mixture. We're going to go on over and we're going to pour this in our cups. All right. So all I need to do is fill my cups. And people ask me, hey, where do you get the cups from? You know what, you can get them from party stores, um, liquor stores, I've seen them in ABC, and I get them at Sam's because you get them in a huge bunch. Let me tell you, I bought some, they lasted me about 10 years. I actually had to go out this year and get some more because I had gone through 2,500 portion cups. If that gives you any idea of how often I make jello shots, I gotta tell you, any party I go to, my friends always ask me, please, 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 let me bring in jello shots. So that's my game. We're just gonna fill up our cups here. Let's fill up our cups here. tasted. All right, let's go get these into the refrigerator. Let's give these a try. All right, now if you haven't seen my other Jello shot video, then you may not know the proper way to eat a Jello shot. All right, I go to parties, I see people using their finger, but you know what, that kind of really grosses me out because you're at a party, you're shaking people's hands, your hands are dirty, you don't want to put your finger in your mouth. So you want to use your tongue like this. You're going to just run it along the rim. to loosen it up, and then you're just gonna pop the whole thing into your mouth. So cheers. Woo! That has definitely got a kick to it. I gotta tell you, you Fireball fans out here, you are gonna love these Jello shots. And like I said, even if you're not a Fireball fan, you will be pleasantly surprised at how delicious these are. They're apple, orange, and a little bit of cinnamon, and they're delicious. So great for a party, not even just for Halloween, for any party. So make sure you check out my other videos, and until next time, you all have a very safe and happy Halloween. Mwah. Bye! So I'm getting that done. All right, very super but that's super cold, so that's going to help cool down our mixture. All right. Let's give these a try. Now, if you haven't seen my other Jello Shot video, okay. All right, so now all I need to do is fill my 